In today's video, we will discover how automatic feature recognition finds the tools that it uses. So we've got our machine set up, we've got the stock selected. So this is the bounding box uh, stock selected. And I'm gonna go into my CamWorks options and just ensure that all the feature types that I want it to find are turned on. So I also want the part parameter toolpath. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and run my extract machinable features. So it's going to go through and it's going to find all of the different features on this part. And I actually don't need a couple of these features, so I can easily just delete them. And they'll go in my recycling bin. Um, so I've got all the features that I'm looking to machine in this part. And I've got the tool crib that I want selected. So I'm going to use this crib 3 um, Haas tool crib. So I want it to actually select the tools that are inside of this tool crib. So if I want it to select those tools, I need to go into my tool crib and turn on tool crib priority. What that does is it tells the um, technology database to find the tools or to select the tools within my tool crib first. And if it cannot find a tool that needs to be used, so for example, if it cannot find the the exact drill size that needs to be used in this hole, it will select that from the library. Um, another option is to turn on use tool crib tools only, and this will only use the tool crib tools that are in this tool crib. Um, and if it needs to use something else, it actually won't generate the tool path. So I'll show you a quick example of that. If I um, come in and choose my generate operation plan, come back into my CamWorks feature tree, you'll actually notice the countersinks were not, uh, countersink holes were not created at all because we didn't have the right uh, countersink, we didn't have the right drilling tool in that tool crib, um, and we didn't have the right center drill. So uh, where all of this information comes from is in the technology database. So if we go into the milling, features and operations, and then features and operations again. You'll see inside of this window for each feature type. So for example, the counter or the hole, or if we go to our countersunk hole, which we were just trying to machine, um, for this tool path within this um, size limits, we're gonna need a center drill. And this is how it finds the center drill that needs to be used for that specific hole. So in the tool selection, the tool type is um, shown at the top, so we can choose the different tool types that can be used for this operation. And then this is how it chooses the actual tool. So the majority of the tools selected will actually use an expression. So this drilling option has an expression. That's a mathematical equation to find the actual uh, tool that will fit inside of that hole. Um, or inside of the feature. Um, this one is currently using just a constant uh, half inch center drill. So it's just gonna find a half inch center drill no matter what um, or where it comes from. The next option is to select a specific tool. So I would select tool and then just find the tool that I'm looking for and it would always use that specific tool. Same with select assembly tool. So I would just select the actual tool assembly and it would always use that specific uh, tool assembly. Um, so this one is currently just set to a half inch center drill. So whatever it can find it with a half inch center drill. If I go to the next one, this is where um, it's using the drilling expression. So it's looking for um, a drilling tool within the equation that's given. So this is based on the feature size. Um, so if it cannot find the correct tool within this um, expression based on the feature size, um, then it would go ahead and select one from the library that would fit into there if we've got tool crib priority selected. Um, so that's where all of the information comes from and the equations that are used to find those tools. So if I come back into my tool crib and choose edit definition, I'm going to turn off use tool crib tools only. And then I'm going to go ahead and generate the operation plan again and generate the tool pass. So you'll see 
as soon as I do that, we now have those tools in there that are going to machine out these uh, features. And they actually have a tiny little red exclamation mark beside each of the tools or the tool paths. Also, if I come into the tool tree, you'll see those tools have been added to my tool crib with the small red exclamation mark, which again means that those tools are not in my tool crib. So the nice thing about using tool crib priority, if we have this checked off and this not checked off, it still adds the tools that it needs to use, except it lets you know that they're not in your tool crib. So at this point, you'll see that we've got the tools in the tool crib. Um, if we open a new file, these tools will not be in the tool crib. It's just for this specific file because they still have the red exclamation marks. If we save the tool crib with these new tools in there, then they will um, always be saved back into the technology database and they'll always be in that uh, tool crib when we select it for future um, parts. So a couple different options for the tool cribs. Um, if I go ahead and I'm just going to create a new configuration here and start from scratch. So if I go ahead and and I've got I'm just going to add in my Haas tool crib and I'm not going to select anything here. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to extract the machinable features. I'll remove those rectangular slots that I don't need again. And then I'm going to go ahead and generate the operation plan and the tool paths. So you'll see there's no red exclamation marks beside them. However, it did not use the majority of the tools that were in my tool crib. It actually, I don't think it used any of them. So these were all selected from the library based on what it thought would be the best tool paths or tools to, to cut those features with. Um, so when you don't have anything selected um, as tool crib priority or use tool crib uh, tools only, it's going to select whatever it, it thinks is best from the tool library. So um, I think the, the best option is to choose tool crib priority and then it goes ahead and finds what it thinks is best and you can decide from there. Um, if you choose use tool crib tools only, it's just not going to generate those tool paths at all. Um, so a couple different options and uh, that's how the automatic feature recognition decides which tools to use.